uh, range test from Harrisonburg, Virginia back to Arlington, Virginia starting at 77%. Uh, we're gonna be trying to go as much as possible using autopilot. We're gonna keep a running uh, tally of the disengagements from autopilot. While we were down here, we got approximately uh, eight inches or more of snow in certain areas. It was a, it was a dry snow, powdery snow. Um, so that might affect the range here today. So we're going to uh, record the process of getting back home. We're gonna record, if we can, the uh, disengagements when they happen. Um, and then we'll keep also a uh, watch on the batteries. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. So uh, we're passing Mount Jackson right now. We're sitting at approximately 66% with uh, 165 miles of range. Passing a uh, plow up here. And uh, hopefully we don't get a phantom break, but say autopilot's done about 90% of the trip so far. Um, roads are rel relatively light, so I haven't had to disengage or get out of the way for people. But uh, yeah, as we pass uh, Mount Jackson, heading back towards uh, Arlington, Virginia, we're sitting at 167 miles of range at 66%, and we started at 77. So uh, we'll continue to update as we make our way closer to uh, the Nova area. Play some nice music over this part. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so we have a guy coming up behind us. Do I disengage autopilot or do I uh, pull it out? Because that'll count as a disengagement. I think we're going to be those guys. We'll let them pass. We're going to pass on the right. Whoops. Oh. Here he comes. Sorry, buddy. So as we're driving, I'm thinking of things to show here, but uh, I wanted to show the uh, windshield wiper fluid, how it works. So it doesn't typically just spray it out on the window. And when, when, when that happens, a lot of the times it'll kick back and hit the cars behind you. They're actually built, it looks like they're built into the windshield wipers themselves. So you click the uh, button down here and uh, I'll show it in action really quick. Well. <laughs> windshield wipers are struggling right now it's actually coming out of the windshield wiper but uh if we can get a better example of that here in a little bit but uh there you go all right so got a update we're uh going from 88 whoops 81 <laughs> to uh 66 east and we're currently sitting at 56% uh, battery. We're just at 57, just across over 56% battery. Um, and I think we're estimated to arrive at 28%, but uh, we're about halfway through the trip. We're sitting at 57%. Um, and 160 miles projected range. So I think we're gonna find a uh, pit stop here soon. We're gonna jump out of the car and uh, grab some Coke. So if we do that, we'll uh, record and uh, update you guys so stay tuned thanks using mostly autopilot the whole ride it seems like it needs more exhaust pipes like an m3 because it hasn't got them i actually prefer the tesla which is just more honest more simple this is the performance version the only thing that sets it apart is this common fiber a bit of a spoiler there's a little red line at the right says dual motor first try today i noticed this thing So we just arrived at Costco and we arrived at 40%, one percentage point higher than what Tesla uh, had predicted. So we're gonna go in inside, do some returns, do some stuff, and we're gonna go to Arlington here in a second. So while Grace is grabbing her stuff, I'm just gonna show the salt damage on the car, what we're looking at right now. So there was uh, 
clearly some uh, bad snow the last couple days. Let's run around the car. Here are the uh, replacement rims that I've got. She needs a bath, so maybe we'll go uh, do a bath later today. So we'll see. It's freaking cold. I need to use the bathroom too. Whoops. All right, what did you get, Grace? Let's see what you got. I got an ice cream scoop sort of Sunday thing. Okay. And pepperoni pizza. Okay. And then we got the uh, classic Buck Fitty hot dog. I think it's probably the best hot dog in uh, this United States in general. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's your bet, YouTube? Give me a cold scoop or a hot. Scoop? It's gonna be cold as shit. It was in the front the whole fucking time. You stupid. <laughs> 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 what is there heat up there? How's that work? That was like the if anybody on if anybody on YouTube says I think it's gonna be warm, <laughs> it's 30 degrees outside. Look what we're wearing. Does it look like it's gonna be warm? All right, let's open up. Let's see if it'll connect. Come on. Come on. Hmm, gotta love this. Ah, just a little test. Like, this is why I just want the damn key. Huh? Do you want to get it out? No, like the actual key. Oh, the yeah. The fob. Like, damn, like, unlock, bro. Uh, uh, controls. All that just to open up the damn trunk. In the moment of truth. I was like, I'm gonna look a little warm. They're not cold. They're not freezing. They're not frozen. That's what I'm saying. They're not frozen. But they aren't, but they aren't warm. Yeah, I live in a condo and I don't have a charger at my place. So we're going to hit the uh, charger outside of the Tesla supercharger outside of Tyson's Corner. What is it called though? Pimmit Hills. Pimmit Hills. Okay. So we're going to cancel this trip here really quick. And we're going to do charging. I mean, how do we, where do we even start here? This one right here? Let's take a look. Now, how accurate was that? Not. Because it's actually this one that you want to go to. We love this one because the uh, kilowatt rate is 22 cents, which is, I think, the best, one of the best in the area, other than. Springfield, which is 14 cents? It depends on the time you go, and it can be 14 cents if it's not during peak hours, and then during peak hours, it's back to 30. And it is chilly. It's 37 degrees outside. All right, let's get it. We'll, uh, we'll pick back up at uh, Tyson's Corner. Oh, there's a wait. All right, so we are arriving at the Tesla Supercharger uh, near Tyson's Corner by Whole Foods. Um, <clears throat> and Tesla's telling us that there's gonna be a wait, which is symbolized with the uh, clock icon. Usually if they're available, it'll have a count of how many are available. So we'll see what happens here. So actually, it looks like there might be one available in the end. I want to pass this over to you. Let's see what's happening here. I think it's working. Clear the snow really quick, actually. Give me one second.
we're starting to charge. We have 35 minutes remaining with 27% uh, battery. So, um, as you see with some of the cold weather conditions that the, the charge port is actually frozen shut. So I had to pick it off. But um, I guess we'll chill here to watch some YouTube. But um, so what we're gonna do is I think we arrived with 27% and then we're just gonna subtract the percentage that it takes to get from here to Arlington to come with to our uh, final total of, of the percentage between Harrisonburg to Arlington. I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere between like 24%. Like mm -hmm. 23 to like 25 percent um but it is cold it's 37 degrees um but all in all i thought it was a pretty smooth drive so uh, i think the move after this is we're gonna go to grace's place drop her stuff off and then we're gonna go to a car wash and give this thing a clean because there is salt all over the paint and i don't have ppf protection or anything like that so um that'll probably be our next video so anyways we're gonna charge here and then uh when we stop in arlington we'll uh do the final total for the uh, percentage charge okay so my car just restarted after it finished charging to 90 percent i was just clicking the button to figure out charging was done trying to get to the screen and it just went black so we went from 27 to 90 percent 11 bucks 22 cents a kilowatt hour all right, so let's go to Arlington. Let's finish the trip and do our final calculation. All right, catch you in a few minutes. All right, let's get home. I'm tired. Grace, how much did you drive this trip? None of it. Yeah, how much I drove of it? All of it. Almost none of it. <laughs> it's autopilot. Blessed ya. Seriously. Uh oh, don't hit me. That was... So that was 88%, down two from 90. We stopped there at 27. So we're at 25%. Started at 77. Okay, so we started at 77, got here at 25. So that'd be 55. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. <laughs> I hope your math is right, because mine might not be. But uh, not too bad. You know, it was a little windy out there. It's gusty. Um, we should have had the wind at our back, but I think we had a little bit of a crosswind coming in. But uh, all in all, not too bad. Um, next stop is going to be washing the car. And we're going to, I guess, do a video on the experience of putting this thing in car wash mode and getting it all cleaned up. So... Anyways, not too bad. You know, uh, I do condo living, so whenever I charge, typically I'm at a supercharger. I can't charge my place overnight. Um, so it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, and keep in mind when you're when you're charging and driving. But uh, all in all, not too bad with the uh, with the conditions, with the snow, uh, and the amount of wind today. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe. Bye.